Hey there, this is Robbie Frank and in this video I wanted to talk to you about the number one reason why you're not closing more sales. If you're a salesman, if you're a business owner, you're making calls, you're making sales calls, you're calling your leads, following up on people, but for some reason you're not closing sales. I wanted to give you in this quick video the number one reason why this is happening. So at the end of each call from this day on, you need to start sending out the offer the sales page, the way to actually purchase the product. One of the biggest reasons uh, people don't sell is because they let the other person sell them on the reason why they're not ready to buy now. Either I'm not interested, I didn't leave my details, not now, I need to ask my wife, I need to think about it. And then what ends up happening is they don't, the salesperson or the business owner doesn't send the other person an offer. When you don't send the other person an offer, there is a 0% chance for the deal to get closed because there's no way to sign the contract. There's no way to pay the payment. So very simple tip, very simple solution. From this day on, every single call you have, let's say you call the person and they say, hey, uh, sorry, I'm not interested. Just say, okay, no problem, dude. I'm gonna send you uh, the uh, details of the offer via SMS or via email. What's the best way to reach you and uh, have a good day. And then you send them the actual offer. But let's say somebody says, you know, I need to talk to my wife. No problem, here's the offer, check it out, let me know, and if you wanna move forward, you can pay right there. Remember, it's really, really important. The number two reason, by the way, which why, why people uh, don't manage to sell is that they don't persist beyond the first resistance. So, just a small example, a few days ago, uh, I left my de details at a advertising company, and they called me, and I forgot about it, it was like four days later, which is another mistake in of itself, but, they called me, I didn't even remember I put my details, and they said, hey, this is uh, Mr. So-and-so from this company for advertising. Uh, we saw that you left your uh, contact details. And I said, oh, uh, I don't remember. You know, I don't think I did. And uh, most people at that point would say, oh, I'm sorry, bye-bye. But this guy said, okay, no problem. You're a business owner, right? I'm, sorry. I'm like, yeah. Uh, tell me about your business. And I said, no, I really, I, I, didn't, I don't think I, I know what this is about. He said, yeah, yeah, I know, no problem. So we're a marketing agency, we wanna help your business. And he got me into a really good sales call, sent me an offer, and there's a good chance we're gonna to move together uh, this week. So um, what is the moral? Always send an offer at the end of the call. Again, not interested, no problem, here's the offer, let me know if you change your mind. Or uh, I'm not interested right now, maybe later, I'll call my wife, let me check, no problem, here's the offer, check it out, you can move forward and pay. When you're ready, either way, I'm gonna follow you up in a few weeks. Um, third thing, remember to call your leads really soon. Just call them even 10 minutes uh, after they le left their details. It's a really good plus. And finally, persist past the first resistance. Say no problem, okay, and just move on. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.